This tutorial will teach you how to insert and modify shapes in iBooks Author. To run iBooks Author, you will need the latest version of Lion installed on your desktop. First, open up iBooks Author. Once open, it will ask you to choose a template for your book. Choose one. Once your template is open, you may begin creating your book. To insert a shape into your design, whether it's a complete page background or just a shape to enhance the page design, you'll need to go to the top of the toolbar and click Shapes. That will drop down a list of shapes for you to choose from. Choose the star. Once you choose the shape, you can modify the size any which way using the white squares around the shape. If you click on the entire shape, a black box pops up where you can adjust how many points you'd like your star to have. With the star shape in particular, you can also adjust how pointy you'd like the star to be by adjusting the circle within the star using the blue dot between the top and right star points. You can move the entire shape by clicking the shape itself and dragging it to where you want it on the screen. Once you have the basic size and shape you'd like, now you can play around with different colors and line styles. There is a secondary toolbar right under the main one. The first tool shows a line. This allows you to change the line style or if you want to have no outline at all. The next tool allows you to choose how thick or thin you want the line style to be. The color block next to that allows you to change the color of the outline. The fill box then allows you to change the color of the entire shape. The opacity tool allows you to fade the shape lighter or more solid. If you check the box next to shadow, the tool will add, you guessed it, a shadow to your shape. Those are all the tools for inserting and modifying shapes. But just one last thing. If you'd like to have a page background color, choose the square or rectangle shape, and then the color you'd like the background to be, and just stretch the shape out over the entire page. Now you have a background color. These are the steps to use for inserting and modifying shapes, as well as creating a background color for your page or pages in iBooks Author.